Clayton Kershaw, he signed up to play for Mark DeRosa and Team USA in the World Baseball Classic. But this week, after some insurance issues back and forth in case an injury were to happen, Clayton Kershaw had to back out. I'm not going to be able to play in the WBC. Uh, super disappointing. Uh, we, we tried a lot of different things, all sides, really tried to make it work. And, um, Nothing's wrong with me. It just didn't didn't work out. Uh, I, I really wanted to do it. I really wanted to be a part of that group. Um, probably my last chance to get to do it, so I really wanted to do it, but um, it just just didn't work out for a number of reasons. So disappointing, but um, you know that's okay. I'll be ready for the season. I'll be ready to go. There was some factors that you know were making it hard for me to play, and I tried to work it out on my own. Tried to work it out with MLB union. The team, everybody, everybody worked hard to try and make it work and uh, just wasn't able to. Manny Machado confirms he plans to opt out at the end of the season, said the Padres know where he stands when it comes to a new deal. Noted the market has changed dramatically since he signed. Quote, there's a lot of money out there. So the particulars on this, Manny Machado signed a 10-year, $300 million deal with the Padres. If he opts out at the end of the year, which he is contractually able to do, he would be foregoing the final five years and $150 million that are guaranteed. They're not only seeing the money in the marketplace in the league, but in the franchise. Tatis gets... 340 yeah. for 14 years guaranteed. I mean, he sees the money. They just broke off Darvish. It, he's going to pitch until he's 45, according to this contract. The Padres are spending such crazy money. They've well, created He knows what this. Aaron Judge was offered at the Padres. He knows that. Judge, that Turner, offered. they were in on every. So why wouldn't he? I mean, yeah. he, it's his franchise now. And, and he is he is acting according to what the Padres have done with everybody else on the market. I get it. My money's money, brother. Money's money, and uh, you know, if money's what makes you happy, then you know you gotta reevaluate your life. Uh, you know, money's a source for for me to help my family uh, move forward, to give other, other, an education to my son, uh, to get my parents out of poverty, to make sure my dad doesn't work a single day in his life again. But um, you will never hear me bragging about being the richest man in the room or anything like that. Money is just a number in your bank account for me. It's about the relationships that I build, the lives that I change. Once the season hits, man, and I'm in spring training, it's like, all right, it's game time. It's time to get to work with these guys. It's, it's time to just focus and, and go out there and, 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 and set some really high goals, right? Because, like I said in the press conference, you know, winning the division should, should, you know, it's the first thing that comes. But, you know, when we're talking about building a team that, that's going to win, it's about winning championships, right? Winning the division is not going to be enough. So, um, we got to set goals that are really high. and. That way, when you accomplish them, you'll be really satisfied. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the plan here, man. We want to win, win big. As MLB celebrates Black History Month by the numbers, presented by Nike, 17 World Series strikeouts for Bob Gibson. One of his two World Series MVP awards. He's one of only three players ever to win multiple World Series MVPs. And earlier, we talked about his relationship with Tim McCarver as we uh, eulogized Tim. Uh, the day after learning of his passing. Let's talk a little bit about Bob Gibson, the player now. Impactful Hall of Famer. Uh, there's nothing to say about his baseball that hasn't already been said. Of all the things he did, when you change records or you change how games are played, like they moved that mound from 68. In 1968, after that year, they, they lowered the mound so pitchers wouldn't have such a huge advantage because of the ERA he threw out there. I liken that to when Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was in, high, in college at UCLA, they took out the dunk. You know, when you have that kind of dominance and you change your sport, that's next, next, next level. Yeah. For more on these and other stories, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.